Last time on the Wizard Cast. Knock, knock. Who's there? Carrie. Hi, Carrie. How are you? N- no, no, Brian. You're supposed to say Carrie who? Why don't you know your last name? Are are you lost? Brian, n- no. It's it's ju- it's a joke. This is this is the joke. Brian, do do you not know how to answer a knock knock joke? Who's that, Carrie? Is that you again? Do you have your ID? Do I need to call the police? Oh dear Lord, just no. And now the conclusion of the Wizard Cast. I'm Brian Kwong. And I'm Mark Ross. We're Salesforce experts that love talking about technology and Salesforce. We also love humor. Doesn't mean we're actually good at it. In the Salesforce community, I'm known as the Salesforce wizard, likely due to me wearing a wizard hat at Salesforce events. And I'm known as Salesforce Yoda for pretty much the same reason. You should see the ears. We have a passion to help educate and entertain people. So we've joined forces to create wizard cast we've got tips and best practices we talk with interesting people all mixed with quote unquote jokes and humor welcome to, to the, the wizard, wizard cast, cast. Let's try this again, Brian. Just read the cue cards I gave you. You got them? I got them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Carrie. Carrie who? Carrie over to the next sprint. That's the weirdest last name I've ever heard. You know, I think I'm going to have to be the one to carry this show. How are you going to do that? I mean, it doesn't come in a box. There's no can be handle. There's not really much to carry. I mean, it's all digitally in the cloud, Mark. All right. Well, moving on. Did you hear the news, Brian? Uh, what news? Shannon Hale is back. Okay, great. Um, Was she on vacation for that matter? Who's Shannon? Brian, come on. Do you, do you not know who Shannon Hale is? She's, she's Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale. Mm-hmm. That was on. Okay, so who's Shannon Hale? Shannon, 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 Shannon. Shannon, Shannon Hale Shannon, can Shannon, divide by Shannon, zero. Shannon, 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 Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale can win a game of Connect Four in only three moves. Shannon Hale. In a fight between Batman and Darth Vader, the winner would be Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale. Some people wear Superman pajamas. Superman wears Shannon Hale pajamas. Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale once ordered a Big Mac at Burger King, and she got one. Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale used to be the director of platform product management for Salesforce. You know, she helped things like Schema Builder. She redesigned setup. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was a big promoter of replacing URL hacks. Uh, she Ooh. told me once that every time I created a URL hack, it made her cry. She's pretty much awesome, though. Yeah. Uh, well, the last I heard, she was uh, over at Salesforce.org. So what's the news? Well, Shannon Hale is going to be the new product manager for Flow Builder. And that is great because she's a fantastic product manager. She engages mm-hmm. with the community and she just consistently delivers awesomeness. Um. You don't mm-hmm. think we're setting the bar a little too high? I mean, it, her first day was just the start of the month. Nah, I think I think she can live up to the expectations. Shannon Hale. And now for something completely different. If you're certified in Salesforce or you're uh-huh. looking to get certified in Salesforce, there's a very important thing you need to know about if you haven't been listening to the Twitter spheres and your email inbox and everything else. I've been busy, okay? We have a special guest today. Her name is Tracy Ozug. She's the Trailhead Program Project Manager for Salesforce Credentials at Salesforce. And she's got a, an important message that she wants to make sure all you Salesforce certified folks know about. So, Tracy, welcome to the WizardCast. 
Thank you so much for having me today. It's great to be here. Um, and yes, we're going to talk about certification maintenance. As Brian said, we do have some deadlines coming up. So the deadline is December 14th. If you have spring and summer certification maintenance, you definitely want to have that done by December 14th. Don't be that person on December 14th that has not completed their maintenance. Uh, you have some time, so please be sure to go in and complete your spring and your summer certification maintenance today. So for, for people who may not be certified, certified now or not familiar, what it is, what do you mean by maintenance? When you become Salesforce certified, part of keeping your credentials current is actually keep doing maintenance. So we do maintenance three times a year, um, and that's in accordance with the spring and the summer and the winter releases. So it's super important um, when you have your credentials that you keep them updated by doing the maintenance. Super I mean, important. And historically, this has been on Web Assessor, right? And, and it's basically been a small multiple choice questionnaire specific to the release that the maintenance is for. Yes. Yeah. So so why why December 14th? What's special about that date or even what's special about those two releases because you know the maintenance exams is nothing new. So what's changed? Well, we've got a couple of new things that we want to make sure everyone knows about. Um Basically, right now, you have to complete your maintenance in the release cycle. Normally, you had a whole calendar year to complete your maintenance, but now one of the new rules that we have is we have to have everybody complete their maintenance before the next maintenance cycle starts. That, so that's December big. It That's is it. big. It's huge. And December 14th is a big day. That's the last day to complete maintenance, basically because winter begins on Monday the 17th. So we have to have everybody complete their maintenance before they start winter. So it's a pretty big deal. And as a lot of your audience may have heard, in addition to the maintenance on Web Assessor, we're migrating maintenance over to Trailhead, which is super exciting. We're very, very excited to do this. Mm. And it is a big deal. It's great. <laughs> so so no go, more Web Assessor exams for, for maintenance? Soon, very soon, within the next calendar year, we'll have all of the maintenance exams migrated over. So right now we still have some on Web Assessor, uh, but we are migrating a lot of them over to Trailhead and the format's a lot more fun. Rather than taking your typical Web Assessor exam, when you go on to Trailhead, some will be a hands-on challenge, some will be you go through the module like any other Trailhead module and answer the questions at the end. We're trying to shake things up a little bit, make it a little fun. Um, so as we migrate more and more maintenance over to Trailhead, I think everyone will see the change and hopefully they'll really like it. Okay. Um, with the consideration that, that the maintenance exams are being moved to Trailhead, is there anything special people need to be doing in order to make sure that they can take their maintenance exams? There's one super, super important thing that everyone needs to do. And basically, we need them to link their Trailhead and Web Assessor accounts so that we know that Web Assessor and Trailhead can talk to each other. So we know if folks have completed their maintenance and we can make sure that we grant them um, the stay that they have completed their maintenance and they still have their credential in good standing. So it's super important. And again, if you have not already linked your accounts and you have spring or summer maintenance to complete, please, please, please please complete your linking of your Trailhead and Web Assessor account by December 14th. It's super, super easy to do, and it's actually three steps. So if you're good, I'll actually run through them right now and actually one, two, three. Yeah, okay. so the first thing we'll have to say is before you get to the one, two, three, is if you're one of those people who have not been using Trailhead, you need to have a Trailhead account. Can I have Trailhead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. And, right. and why aren't you on Trailhead? Be uh, on Trailhead. Do um, the right thing. Uh, I, I, I don't have time, Mark. No, Brian. no, that's not a good excuse. So, I that's, mean, that's actually a complete lie. I, I, I have a whopping 15 badges now. Woo! That's pretty good for a consultant. Yeah. You're on the road to Ranger, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what, 85 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start somewhere. So so first, get your Trailhead account. Uh, you're going to need to know that as well as your web sensor information. That's correct. Mm -hmm. right. So, So what are the three steps? So the first thing you're going to do is go to sfdc.co forward slash my status, and you're going to enter in your web assessor email address and hit the submit button. Then you're going to get an auto-generated email back in your inbox that'll contain your web assessor account information and a link to linking your web assessor and trailhead accounts. You just click on the link. It'll walk you through the steps and you're golden. You have linked your accounts. So it's very simple, very easy to do. Go to sfdc.co slash my status, all lowercase. Correct. Right? Okay. So 
that seems pretty straightforward. Um, let's say hypothetically there is a certified uh, person out there who has not linked their Trailhead and WebAssessor accounts, uh, has not completed their spring or summer certification maintenance, and is a well-known procrastinator. If I wait, not that I'm recommending, but and and, and it's not me. It's 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 uh-huh. a friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if they wait all the way to December 14th, uh, are they going to be able to link it and take their certifi- or maintenance exams on Trailhead without problems? Yes. If they do everything on the 14th, which again is not recommended, as long as they do all of the steps before midnight their local time, they will be fine and their maintenance will be complete. But now, again, now, it's certainly not recommended. We don't want everybody rushing right. We want you to do your best. And and that being said, and I don't I'm not saying this to disparage anything, but I do know there were a couple community members who did have trouble linking their accounts. So really just don't just don't wait until the last day because it probably won't happen to you, but there's a slim chance that the link won't work and then you'll be up a creek. With or without a paddle, depending on how you like to roll. Exactly. And and if you do have trouble linking, what can they do? They can actually go to our help site for more details, and I'll give you that uh, URL. It's trailhead.salesforce.com forward slash help, and folks can open up a case, and the nice people at Salesforce in our department will help them get uh, linked. One thing to note, though, if you do go ahead and open a case that day on December 14th, there is no guarantee that they will get to you by end of day. Um, right. There are so many cases. So definitely, we want everybody to link their accounts ahead of time um, and be prepared and rest easy that everything's ready to go before December 14th. Yeah. Don't don't delay. If you haven't done it now, stop listening. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> do it now. Don't, don't be like now. my co-host and wait to December 14th to do this. Hey. I've actually done mine already. Have you done your maintenance? All right. On yes. Woo. Yes. I, 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 I linked my account. I did do that. But I haven't even looked for the maintenance models. Modules. <gasps> now, now, I do have a question. How would somebody know if they have uh, gotten up, gotten it, gotten themselves all caught up or not? Mm-hmm. That same URL that I mentioned earlier, the sfdc.co forward slash my status, it will actually send you that automated email generated back to you, which will confirm if your status is up to date and what exams you still need to complete your maintenance for. Really? So that will tell you for every certification uh, where you stand in the process. I like this. It. I got to yes. find I'm going to do this live. Yeah, I'm gonna do do it. Right, now. right now. So, yeah. So, so I'm going to sfdc.co slash my status. It takes me to a uh, trailhead credentials verification. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I get two Put boxes. Uh, verify yep. a Salesforce certified professional and check uh, certification holders. Check your status. That's so, it. So I'm doing check the status, right? Yep. Put your web assessor email address in there and hit submit. Uh, you know what mm-hmm. I should have actually done is found out what my web assessor uh email was prior to doing I'm doing this. I'm doing I'm in oh, there. there. There we oh, go. Oh, I have uh, to select all the images that have traffic lights in them. Yeah, Hang on. yeah I'm not a robot. <laughs> not, oh, I, it I, automatically I, assumed I wasn't a robot. It says results for redacted have been sent to redacted. The email. The email address. Yes. yes. The, it's been sent to the email address in question. And and, and have I got any email? Have well I it might any? it might take a minute. Oh there it is. Oh, it's yep, yep. It says your credential status is here. Yep. Oh, and... No action required. No action required. No action required. <laughs> oh, yeah. Salesforce so certified you. administrator to release exams behind. Oh, certified Brian. sales cloud consultants to release Brian. exams behind. Certified platform app builder to release exams behind. Certified platform developer one to release exams behind. Uh, certified force.com developer retired. So I'm, I'm good on one. Yeah, do, no, I've got the some too. work to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, what I find interesting on this is that it does provide the links to the exam that I need to take, which I think is oh, nice. very useful. Correct. That's good. Yeah. And, and I will say this, having taken the CERT exams, the, the research exams, it does take a little bit longer than they previously used to, which I think is a good thing, actually, because it's not just a matter of like, click, 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 click. You know, now you actually have to, you know, read and, and go through multiple pages. Um, yeah, there's there's no more opening up the PD version, PDF version of the release notes and doing a control F on the parts or the answer <laughs> to the question to go, OK, which one is this? Brian, <laughs> not that not I ever need to, to do that, that. You've done that because I read all four hundred and sixty thousand pages of the release notes and I have them memorized. 
We know uh-huh. you do. Yes. I got a very totally. Sheldon edetic me- memory. <laughs> <laughs> and personality. So, uh that was actually really fast and straightforward. That that's pretty cool. I like how that's done. Now that that's assuming of course that you've linked your Trailhead and your web assessor accounts together. Yes, correct. The my status tool will work whether you've linked or not. It basically gives you the status as we see it in Web Assessor for your account. Um, so the trailhead piece will actually then come into play and let us know that you've actually completed the maintenance. So the listing of the exams there is the Web Assessor piece, and then making sure that you've completed your maintenance is where the trailhead piece comes into play. Okay, so we're going to give you the opportunity now, dear listener, to pause the podcast. Go and get your accounts linked and do your maintenance exams, and we'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. So uh, everyone's done their maintenance exams. That's great. Um, but I want to go back to something you said earlier on, Tracy, and that, that was you had to complete maintenance ex- um, within um, the, quote, maintenance cycle, unquote. So for those of us like me, who has no idea what that means. Um, can you give me an example? Because I, I would imagine once my spring 18 and, and summer 18 certifications uh, maintenance is done, uh, winter 19 is next. So can you use that as an example? When will that come out and when would I have to have it done? Absolutely. Winter will actually begin December 17th. So that begins the winter release cycle and maintenance for that period of time will be due before spring, the date when actual spring 19 maintenance comes out. So that date is still TBD, but it's going to be, I would imagine, sometime probably in, you know, February, March timeframe, April. So definitely don't wait and don't delay if you have your winter maintenance and you have some time <clears throat> to get that done. <clears throat> please do so as soon as possible. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do we need to pause and get you a drink of water, Tracy? <laughs> Pausing. Don't delay. Don't don't be a procrastinator. Don't be like Brian. Don't do what, it. What, no, no. It was a friend. It was a friend of mine. Uh-huh. 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 Um, so so, so you so winter the release itself already landed. You're talking about the winter cycle for. The, the research exams um, for maintenance correct yes. okay so, okay. so that maintenance. lands on December 17th for winter right it begins and then it has to be completed before the spring 19 cycle begins so okay. so that's when the spring 19 release exam is available or correct. when the spring 19 release is available when the release exams are available okay which which there's usually a little bit of a delay there's between a delay. when yeah. the release is out and the exam About is two out. months delay if, if this release has been in any indication mm-hmm typical it's it's a, it's a typical time frame okay you know as as a person who procrastinates one i i have very mixed feel i mean a, a friend of mine who procrastinates they have very mixed <laughs> feelings uh, about this change uh, one because having the deadline is always um good for panicking and actually getting things done and and <laughs> making it really short can will can help with that but it also makes it really short and Considering the fact that we all have full-time jobs and families and friends and busy schedules, you know, maintenance exams, even though they don't take that long, can be hard to fit into the day. So what's the rationale? I mean, do you know what the thought behind is making people do the maintenance within the same maintenance cycle? Is what? It- one of the main um, reasons for it is because the move to Trailhead, to be honest with you, all the maintenance now that it's on Trailhead, it's actually um, easier to do. You, you take the maintenance like you would any other module or any other hands-on challenge. So the rationale is that we're making it obviously free now. It's easier for you to do. And we want you to stay up on the latest trends. So we want you to make sure that what's new in spring, that you're being tested on it during that period of time. Because summer, you're going to get a whole new set of challenges and skills and updates. And we want to make sure that you're up to date on those skills during that time period. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, there was, you said a four letter word in, in that phrase that uh, I was not aware of. You, you said it, the maintenance is free? Maintenance is free, party people, free. free I said for free. for all time. No, we need an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's something new. I did not realize that it was going to be free now. Now that's moved over the trailhead. That's oh yes, absolutely. All maintenance on trailhead bucks is free. A release. Yes, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to make it easier, make it easier for you to retain all of your certifications, and for someone like you, Brian, that has so many. Hopefully, this will make your life a lot easier. Well, let's go kind of follow that line because you know, um, <laughs> <clears throat> as one who was very, very 
happy with the search the PDF to find the answer. Um, <laughs> moving to a trailhead, you, you mentioned that some of them may be questions and some of them may have you actually build things. So uh, considering how dynamic, um, you know, developer orgs can be and you, some of us have more than one trailhead org that we use in, do you recommend that they create an org for every single release maintenance or to have one that's dedicated to just all maintenance exams, you know, continuing from one release to the next? You know, it's it's personal preference. I don't think it can hurt either way. But if you have one developer org that you like and you build upon and you want to use that, feel free to do so. If you'd like to start a new org each time you do a new maintenance exam, that's perfectly acceptable as well. I know it's personal preference for a lot of folks. Okay, but if we do use an existing one, there uh, is there a risk of us not being able to pass those portions of the trailhead uh, maintenance because of conf conflicts or how something else got built? within that org. It, 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 it could happen. If you were using that org for something else, let's say, and if there is an issue, then I would definitely do a new org if you think that that might be a problem for you. Absolutely. You, you can do that in Trailhead. Mm -hmm. Make a Trailhead playground. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Is, uh, basically a scratch org that is dedicated to your purpose right at that time. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and it's free to do. And it's insanely easy. And this is the one thing mm -hmm. I, I really liked about it. Because uh, I'm, I'm doing the community modules right now in Trailhead. And uh, I wanted to start with a brand new org because I couldn't uh, remember what else I had built off in the the other trailhead uh, org I had set. And so I created one of those playgrounds. I didn't have to do anything. I just clicked the create the playground thing, entered a couple of pieces of information. It created the org, and there's a button to launch it. I don't even know what my credentials are. I don't know what my <laughs> um, my domain is or anything. I just go log into the trailhead, select the playground from the drop down to hit launch, and I'm ready to go. It's fantastic. That's awesome. It's really easy to do. So it might actually be a good idea to do a new one. If you're paranoid like I am, I'm probably going to do one per release. It can't uh, hurt. It's it, a good thing to do. That's yeah. really paranoid. Well, but more power to you. Well, you know, what I want to avoid is the whole old, you hit the verify step problem and something goes wrong with the verify step that you can't figure out. And it's not because you did something wrong. It's just that there's something conflicting or whatever, um, because it can be really difficult to figure out where to go for help. I mean, where would I go for help? Where should I go for help? Other than a psychiatrist. We, we already covered that earlier. <laughs> Trailhead.salesforce.com slash help, I think is what it was. Yes, and also if you're in the module on the far right-hand corner at the bottom, there will be a help button in each module and each hands-on challenge on uh, Trailhead. So it's real easy to get help while you're actually in the program as well. Yep, it says question, feedback, or help. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, I feel really stupid that I tweeted at Trailhead earlier this <laughs> week going, how come I can't get this step to verify? Please help me. Well, then you need to retweet and say, you are good to go. I actually, they, they directed me to Trailhead. and <laughs> Awesome. In, in your defense, I think it's a relatively new thing they added. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. But to be fair, going back to the whole, hey, if you are having trouble linking your account, you can submit a case. I submitted my case, I think, two days ago. I haven't gotten an answer back. So that's another good reason. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. Well, that's yep. not fair. I got the auto response back. So I technically <laughs> got a response. Yep. And the team is working as fast as they can on all the cases. But as you can imagine, there are tens of thousands of people that need to do this. So definitely, please don't wait till the last minute. We want to make sure everybody gets uh, completed and through the process by the deadline. Okay. Yeah. So the quick, support desk for a free product. So Yeah. So quick recap. Go create your Trailhead account if you don't have one. Go to uh, sfdc.co slash my status and go link your trailhead to your web assessor account. Get those certification maintenance done for spring and summer before December 14th, or at before, least before by midnight, your local time, December 14th. And then get ready to get your winter 19 exam done starting December 17th before the spring re release maintenance comes out sometime between February and March. Maybe able. you got it. Great. So, considering you're the project uh, program manager for Salesforce credentials with Trailhead, is there anything else you want to add, or anything we can maybe um, coach out of you of what's uh, what else is coming? <laughs> 
Well, one thing I do want to mention that is live and I can talk about is we have now become part of the Trailhead family on our website as well. So um, we have a new home and our brand new website is Trailhead dot salesforce.com forward slash credentials and this website will talk about not only all things certification but all things super badges as well uh, we've combined forces with the power of trailhead and we're super excited about it so a lot of the information is still there that you're used to seeing we've just kind of repackaged it and reformatted it in a brand new way um, so definitely go ahead and check out our new home on trailhead um, again it's trailhead dot salesforce.com forward slash credentials and we'd love your feedback too on how you guys like the new site i actually like how it's split out to be honest how it's uh clearly marked an admin architect developer like it's it's uh it's it's helpful to find what you're looking for awesome that that's oh, great yeah. feedback we tried to separate it by role so it was more intuitive mm. for folks well the certification changes you click the little pic pictures for for each role that's that's exactly. pretty darn cool mm -hmm. uh let's see can i schedule my platform too Oh, and, and just so we're clear, still using Web Assessor, still using Criterion to do the actual testing. Yes, that is correct. There's still proctored exams. You can do proctored at a testing center or proctored online. So that all of that is still the same. But definitely, um, I'd love to come back and talk to you guys uh, soon because we're going to have some new certifications coming out. Uh, we're going to have some new super badges coming out. So uh, when we're actually ready to deliver those, I'd love to give you and your audience the 411 on what's coming up. Oh, yeah, any time. Awesome. And, and, you know, one thing I think um, I've gotten feedback on is people love to hear not just what the certifications are out there in the details, but um, people get really stressed out about getting certified. And yeah, they, do. they would love to know, are there best practices or tips or suggestions on how to prepare and take a certification test? And if that's something you or someone on your team uh, would be happy to talk about, we would love to have you back on to talk on the show. Oh, I would love to do that. That'd be great. Definitely and one want more to help thing. everyone get certified. Get certified, everybody. All the certifications. <laughs> and, and one more thing for listeners, just uh, and you can feel free to correct me on this or or affirm this. Um, I have noticed, you know, super badges have been in existence in Trailhead for a little while now, but it seems like they're becoming more and more important to the point where there are almost many certifications in and of themselves, where you have like. You know, the Salesforce partner program is actually looking at uh, various people within those partner organizations, whether they have super badges or not, in order to accredit them for uh, certain things as a partner. The super badges actually give you the opportunity to demonstrate that you have the hands-on ability to complete the challenge, where certification is wonderful and it's super important and shows that, that you know your stuff, but super badges actually show that you can complete specific work-related challenges, day-to-day -day challenges that, that employers are looking for. Um, so it is very critically important. All right. Anything else you'd like to say to the masses before we, the masses, our mothers masses. who listen. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Uh, no, thank you so much for having me today. And really, I, I look forward to seeing so many more certified people in the ecosystem. We're always looking to expand and help those folks get certified and, and provide everyone with what they need to do so. So uh, we always appreciate the feedback. And um, as I said, I look forward to maybe speaking with you guys again on what's coming up. And awesome. if you're in a panic, we'll do that. And uh, despite the multiple repetitions of the uh, websites, uh, we will have links in the show notes. So if you're listening in the car, don't worry about it. You can go back to the episode on your app or on the web and view the show notes to get the links directly to the site. Thank you, Tracy, for coming, especially uh, on PTO. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time out over in beautiful Tampa to sit down and talk with us. Oh, no problem. Thanks, Brian and Mark. It's been a, a great pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. WizardCast is produced by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, directed by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, technical administration by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, script I am by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, audio editing by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, and website maintenance by Brian Kwong and Mark Ross, and our intern this episode was Kangsha Patel. You can be an intern too. Just follow us at WizardCast underscore pod on Twitter. Or if you see us at Salesforce events, come and tweet about us so we remember to add you to our list. Do you have a joke, an interview suggestion, or other comments? Let us know because we need all the help we can get. You can call and leave a voice recording with 
888-900-0321 or email wizardcast at thewizardnews.com. And we want to hear from you. If you could ask Parker Harris one question, what would it be? Submit a question by going to bit.ly slash Parker Questions and fill out our short form. And coming really soon is another Idea Exchange highlight. So what ideas would you like to hear Mark and I talk about or you just want to make other people more aware of? Go to bit.ly slash idea highlight to submit an idea to us. Don't forget to subscribe to the WizardCast and receive our next episode automatically. And please post reviews on Apple Podcasts, a.k.a. iTunes, and share this episode. It helps others to hear what you just had to endure. Once again, I'm Brian. And I once heard that Shannon Hale doesn't write code. She just stares at a computer screen until she gets what she wants. Thanks for listening, Bob. Okay, who's Bob? Oh, it's short for Roberta. That's my grandmother-in-law. Oh. Oh, okay. So we got another listener. No, she doesn't listen to the podcast. What? Shannon Hale can delete the recycling bin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad form, Brian. We don't have a lightning recycling bin. That's just... now.